Hi Crafty Kids, how are you today? Um, it's a lovely sunny day so I went for a walk and I went and I picked some wild flowers. Um, if you go out on a little walk I'm sure you'll see these on your travels, little buttercups and daisy chains in there and <clears throat> these lovely little bluebells. So I thought today would be nice to do little fairy flowers, or flower fairies I should say. So um, you're going to need a pencil, glue stick, some paper and some little wild flowers when you're out on your walk. Okay? So I've started by sketching a little fairy like that with her wings. And I put little one of my blossom flowers as a little tutu there. And I'm just going to give her a little purple crown of bluebells. Now remember when we use feathers and things, we always put the glue onto the paper first rather than onto the feathers. Same with the petals, they're very delicate. So I'm going to stick those on and make them really pretty and while you're doing this you can figure out her name see it's gone on the top of her head like that yeah so we're giving her a little fairy crown and using nice petals to make her nice and colourful and when you're out on your walk, I don't know if you've seen any painted pebbles. Um, Kinsale Rocks on Facebook. There's lots of people finding them um, and picking them up and putting them somewhere else. Now if you do see them, make sure that maybe the grown-up picks them up. Because we have to be very careful um, with what we're touching and remember what do we do we always wash our hands yes so I am slowly but surely giving her a nice little crown and then maybe a little daisy she can hold a little daisy in her hand. Love daisies. She's a little daisy queen. And then when you're finished putting your petals on, you could maybe get some pens or paints out and start painting her a little bit. Maybe paint some wings or colour her in. Isn't that nice? So that's your flower fairies you could be getting on with, picking up your little flowers as you're going along for your walk with mummy or whoever it is that takes you out. And remember to look for the pebbles. You could even, if you've got some pebbles at home, I know it's difficult to get to the beach at the moment, even if you had a little pebble like that at home, you could use nail polish and you could maybe, remember we did pointillism with the dots? Oh, couldn't even open that. You could just dot them, put little dots on your pebble or you might want to just do something simple. Like, oh, I love the smell of nail polish. James hates it. I always have to go in a different room when I do my nails and can't bear it. I'm going to do a nice big heart. And I might pop this somewhere around Kinsale. And then you'll say, oh, Laura did that. And I've cleaned it. 
Oh God, I can't get the heart shape. But you get what I mean. So I hope you're all well. And I hope you're doing lots of art every day. Because it's a really good way to spend your time. And you can just go into that little space in your head where you're lovely and calm and relaxed. And then you think, oh, my goodness, the time is flying and the sun is shining. Laura hasn't got a very steady hand today. But look, there you go. I am going to put that somewhere around Kinsale. And if you see it, you can send me a picture, okay? Or put it on Kinsale Rocks on Facebook, which I think is a brilliant idea. All right, my darling, so happy uh, flower fairy making. Remember to get out your pens as well, or your, your paints, and you can just do little watercolors or with your pencils, just kind of make her a little bit more colorful. And um, if you like, you can send me some pictures and let me see what you're up to. We're all well here. I'm missing you. And I hope you're all well. And what do we say? Wash your hands. <laughs>